The lawyers at BDNJ are used to dealing with some pretty big numbers. I was just walking across the street when I was hit in the crosswalk, but BDNJ got me a $28 million settlement. Call BDNJ at 1 800 820 1111 today. Get Bob's discount on furniture, on lamps, on chairs, on mattresses, on rugs, too. Get Bob's discount. Only at Bob's Discount Furniture. DDRV.com is California's largest RV location with a thousand RVs ready now. Aisha Tyler from The Last Thing He Told Me joins us. Plus, Mickey Mouse is in the house with your chance to win a family four pack to Disneyland Resort tomorrow. Now at five, the teenage boy suspected of stabbing a Metro bus driver multiple times is now in custody. New details tonight about what sparked the violent attack. And a dangerous stunt on the 6th Street Bridge turns deadly. What family members are sharing about their teenage victim. And Memorial Day weekend travel is officially underway today. Crews at LAX brace for the busiest day since 2020. The KTLA 5 News at 5 starts right now. Good evening, you're watching the News at 5. I'm Cher Calvin. And hi there, I'm Courtney Friel in today for Pedro. Thank you so much for joining us. New at 5 o'clock, an attempted kidnapping of a 10-year-old girl caught on camera in Murrieta. And tonight we're hearing from the girl's dad as he shares a message to fellow parents. KTLA's Shelby Nelson joins us live from Murrieta where a game of volleyball close to becoming a parent's worst nightmare. Shelby? Share court really scary moments. Imagine for this young 10 year old girl feeling safe right in front of her Marietta home. It was about 815 Sunday night when suddenly this strange man approaches before running towards her. We know that that man has not yet been captured, but what we did see were deputies with the Riverside County Sheriff's Department canvassing the neighborhood earlier today. I let my guard down pretty much. This was unexpected on a Sunday night. A normal Sunday evening for Michael Engadung and his Marietta family up until this man captured in surveillance video comes along. My daughter loves playing volleyball, so she, she asked me, Dad, can we play outside? And sure, I'll give you 10 minutes because I got to go back and do some chores. So Michael played in the front yard with his 10 year old daughter Cassidy. A short time later, he decides to go in the house to get a drink, only catching a glimpse of this man down the street. Oh, you couldn't mistake his walk. He had like a funny walk, but not much of it. But he says not even a minute after going inside the house. Then she rushes all the way inside the garage saying, Dad, Dad, there's a guy trying to kidnap me. And I'm like, uh, quit playing. What do you mean trying to kidnap you? A neighbor surveillance video shows the man with the blue cap and flip flops walking along the sidewalk. In another angle, he stops in front of their home and starts talking to Michael's daughter. And from yet another surveillance video that captured the audio, you hear this. What shirt is that? Oh. Asking Cassidy what's on her shirt before lunging at her. It kind of pierces your veil of security pretty much because you always think, hey, this is a very kid friendly family neighborhood. The man then continues walking. The family reporting the incident to authorities. Several deputies with the Riverside County Sheriff's Department were going door to door asking neighbors for surveillance video and if they saw anything. This is a very, very quiet neighborhood. Mm -hmm. You see parents outside with their kids always playing. So it is a little nerve wracking. It makes me angry. You know, I've got four kids and I never think it's going to happen in an area like this. Um, I wish I would have been outside to do something. Michael says Cassidy is doing okay, but is still shaken up by the ordeal. She wakes up a couple of times thinking the guy's after her. I would just say to parents, it's never too early or too late to talk to your kids about, you know, the dangers of our world right now. Now, there are a few parks and at least one school less than a mile away from where this happened. So, again, very concerning for parents and people who live in that neighborhood. Anyone with information is asked to contact the Riverside County Sheriff's Department. Reporting live in Marietta, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News. Poor girl. How scary. Shelby, thank you so much. We're also following developing news out of Woodland Hills, where a teenage suspect is in custody after a Metro bus driver was stabbed. That driver remains in critical condition. KTLA's Chris Wolf is live near the scene with the latest information for us tonight. Chris. 
Yeah, hello, Cher and Court. This is where that brutal attack happened just about 24 hours ago. The intersection of Topanga Canyon Boulevard and Irwin Street right here in Woodland Hills. Police have arrested a 17-year-old boy in connection with attempted murder. A teenager considered armed and dangerous and a significant threat to the public is now in custody. Before he was captured by Los Angeles police, he was captured by security cameras on a public bus. Los Angeles Police Chief Michael Moore announced that less than a day after a brutal attack in Woodland Hills, a 17-year-old boy had been arrested. The chief credited solid police work. It all started Wednesday evening around 5.15 at the intersection of Topanga Canyon Boulevard and Irwin Street. Authorities say the teenager boarded a bus without paying the fare and started to argue with the driver. The two stepped off the bus and continued arguing with the driver seeking help to escape the aggressive